Journal Entry, June 13th, 2016, 9.48 a.m. Some of us raised ourselves and our siblings and cousins in the 80s and 90s when crack cocaine claimed our mothers and fathers and aunties and uncles. And if we were lucky, some of us were raised by our grandparents. Back then, we learned how to survive off of ramen noodles, hot dogs, applesauce, instant oatmeal, PB&J, canned goods, Kool-Aid, tap water, Long John's, brown gel, and prayer. Lots and lots of prayer. And even though we thought God never listened, we did it anyway just in case. So now, as adults, some of us are a little tough and a little jaded, maybe a lot jaded, possibly a little too serious and kind of anxious and a little depressed. Some of us are clingy and needy and attention-seeking and way too independent and will kick your ass if you step out of line with us. Some of us suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. And some of us have trust issues. And some of us have abandonment issues. And some of us have a difficult time connecting to other people emotionally. Some of us have a sixth sense and can tell when your ass is lying or using. So shout out to those that can relate to this. For those that realize their own personal trauma and who go through extensive lengths to unpack their emotional baggage and heal while also trying to heal the relations with their parents and other family members. It's the cold, cold world and we just gotta still move through. We still gotta love ourselves and love each other. You know what I know? The warmth of love is vital to our survival. And I'm here for it. You know, people sit in judgment of other people all the time without knowing what helped the person to become what they are. And we all have a history. You know, people love to judge me, especially calling me bougie. And my thinking is, y'all have no idea of who I am or why I like things just so. But if eating well and taking care of myself and me and having boundaries and standards is bougie, well, hell. Quack, quack. He lives on this little ghetto child.